So when you go looking for a laser, you probably have something in your mind of, oh, I'm going to teach myself how to use a laser, and then I'm going to make stuff, and I'm going to sell it, I'm going to make my money back, I'm going to make myself a little business. Well, to do that, you have to get the right machine. So there are many different levels of lasers. Now, I'm going to be fairly blunt about this because I don't like people wasting money. And it's taken me 40 years to learn to my level um, of knowledge, probably 50 years actually, um, and I'm sort of passing it on to you and tell me what I've learnt and what works and what doesn't work. Firstly, um, my advice would be if you are very, very new to lasers, depending on what your budget is, uh, first of all, if to consider whether you are going to be able to gain the knowledge to uh, be successful with a laser, I would go for something like a K40. To teach yourself how to work a laser and what makes it tick. Because you're going to need to know something about the workings of a laser and the science of a laser. Now, when you've sort of semi-confident of what you were doing, it is at that point that you invest in thousands of dollars, okay, for a machine that you can really do something with. So you can actually get into the laser learning then for about $500, okay? Okay, 40. You're not going to do any serious laser work with the K40. So get that out of your mind. It's a toy. It's a learning laser toy. Understand that. Now I did tell you I was going to be blunt, so this is me being blunt. If you want the truth, you're going to get it here. If you want fairy stories, well, go onto YouTube and you better go somewhere else. Because uh, if you want fairy stories, that's where you're going to get it. So you've done all your research into what you think your next step will be to get really serious with a laser. So where do you go? eBay or Alibaba. Same people. Okay, so I've put in here 100 watt laser. And these are fairly average prices on eBay that is for a 100 watt laser because you've gone and had a look at how much a kern is 100 watt laser that's going to cost you 40 grand a good second hand one's going to cost you twenty five thousand dollars so you're immediately frightened off from that and i suppose then a lot of people go and have a look at glowforge well in my terminology, that's not much better than a K40. Uh, it's very limited. If you want to make little, little things this size, I suppose it's okay. All right, decent sized machine, 100 watt, something like a, you know, 6090 or something like that, or even a 6040. I'm talking in metric terms here. Okay. Five and a half grand. Sounds good. Yeah, you're prepared to pay five and a half grand for a hundred watt laser. 
Let's have a look what it says about it. Okay. Ruida. DSP controller. Why is my computer jumping around? Oh, it's me. Um, 100 watts. Well, actually, that, although it's a Ruida rail, blah. although it is a Ruida controller, it is not the professional one. Okay? Uh, I don't personally like those controllers. Ruida's okay. Good. I like Ruida controllers, but not that particular one. 100 watts CO2, a laser engraving machine, autofocus. It's got all the good stuff. Okay. Uh, even got a red, red dot laser. All right, let's have a look. Now, this K40 is for 600 bucks. Starting point. All right, that's uh, big boy's toy, not a business machine, or even a serious hobbyist for that matter. Okay, so you come in here now to the uh, section where it tells you what it has. Uh, yeah, 100 watt recce tube, that's a good sign. Uh, 100 watt. And the next thing to look for then is how many millimeters per second engraving speed. Oh, cool. Work table size, 60 uh, for Zero to 400 millimeters per second. Ah, that's pretty mediocre, actually. Uh, let's look further into this, into the detail. Oh! It's a war machine, apparently. Why they've got the medals on there, God only knows. It means nothing. Certainly to when, <laughs> when you're buying a laser and spending five and a half grand. This is something called misdirection. Okay. Just bump again. Now we're going to get to the serious bits. 100 watt laser tube recce. Here we go. Here we go. Specifications. Always look at the specs. Um, oh. Oh, here we go. Here's the big giveaway. Laser power maximum value. Okay. Now this is where the untruth comes in. 100 watt. Stable work value is 80 to 85. In other words, what they're saying is the tube is a recce tube. It's peak output. From the factory was 100 watts but you can only use it at 80 watts that is what is that is actually telling you it is not a hundred watt laser you try using that at a hundred watt output and the tube will die in months there is a difference between peak output and usable output Always keep that in mind. And this is not an isolated case. You will find that 99% of sellers on eBay, and incidentally, the sellers on eBay aren't the people that's made them. These people buy them, might buy half a dozen of them, then put them on eBay and sell them for twice as much as what they pay for them, maybe. Because these things are not professionally made and they won't last you five minutes. So you're throwing your money away. Steer really clear of them. 
I told you I was being blunt in this video. Another laughable thing here, it says uh, that the tube working lifetime is seven to 10,000 hours. You operate that laser at 100 watts and you won't get 70 hours out of it. Okay, um, now this looks like it's the same machine, um, same people selling it. Slightly different price. Let's have a look what else other information we might be able to pick up on it. Like I say, this is not an isolated case. Every one of them like this. Um, normal form, 100 watt. Oh, suitable work value is 80 to 85. It's not a 100 watt machine. It's an 80 watt machine. If that. Oh, this on this one engraving speed zero to five hundred millimeters a second. If you remember on the previous ad, same machine, same people selling it, it was zero to four hundred. So they can't even get their facts right. Okay, yes, different photographs. Oh, different layout. Ah, oh, here's something. Zero to five hundred, <laughs> zero five hundred millimeters a second engraving speed suggested zero to three hundred. So now we're down to three hundred, and I can see why because the drive motors driving the gantry and the head are NEMA seven teams. A NEMA seventeen wouldn't pull the skin off a rice pudding. Not on a 100 watt laser, well, not an 80 watt laser. It's, it's a nonsense. And further down here, they say, oh, peak power, peak power, 100 watts, rated power, 90 watts. Well, not really. I don't think so. Because they're stating here, uh, stable working power, 80 to 85. See what I mean? It just doesn't add, none of the figures add up. I personally would not buy a machine from eBay. And there is this, an old, old saying, goes back hundreds of years. You get what you pay for. So, the serious end to this video, and that is why I purchased a Thunder Laser. I've been in the laser thing for many years, and you get to know who's good and who's bad. Thunder Laser operates with a strict Western mindset. Their engineering and sales are Western. The machines might be made in China, but to Western high standards, they are in the top 2% of machinery coming out of China. And if you don't believe me, I'll show you who's buying them. This is th some of the well-known Thunder Laser customers. Google, Fellows, Columbia University. The University of Oklahoma, <laughs> you know, Jack Daniels, for God's sake. United States Navy. Now, I've worked with the United States Navy. Uh, well, actually, the Navy, the Air Force and the, uh, the Army. 
R&D divisions and they don't buy crap. In actual, you know, what more can you say? These companies and universities are very, very high regarded and this is just in the United States. It's like this all over the world. High class customers these people don't go out and buy a Cohen and spend $40,000 on something that, you know, $12,000 can do. Why would you? And these people know that the warranty is there as well. And if they have a problem, not the machine malfunctioning or anything like that, you understand, but a problem as in, oh, I wonder how you do this. They know they can pick a phone app and speak to a person that will tell them the right information in their location of the world. That is why I went Thunder Laser.